and welcome to Cutting Edge Cosplay. I'm Bears Rar. This is my Bears Cave. This is the crafting portion of Cutting Edge Cosplay podcast, which you can find on YouTube, Spotify, anywhere else that you get your podcasts. Let's get this party started. I have my main character energy water with some flavor added. And just to make it craft worthy, just gotta add just a little bing of edible glitter. If you're ever having a bad craft day, sometimes it's helpful to just take a deep breath and have a nice cup of friggin' glittery juice. <laughs> headband. I wanna make her headband. You can see it in this picture. I got two different t-shirts at Goodwill today and I can just use those, make a quick little bandana style headband a star on it. Mom's your uncle. Mom's your uncle. Is that the phrase? I was very confident until halfway through that sentence. I was like, that's not it. Eh, we'll go with it. Basically, I'm just like making a pattern. Her bandana is so funny because I don't know if you've ever worn a bandana before. So basically, you just take it a square of material, fold it diagonal, and just like tie it, right? How hard could it be? This is not what Wonder Woman does though. She goes like full rogue style and like off the beaten path. And somehow the point of her bandana is like on the top of her head and the knot is like right next to it. That's not how bandanas work, bud. So, so I have to make a headband. <laughs> it's just funny. Every time I was looking at it, I was like, really, really Diana, really? I guess that's how godly types are. What do you think? I've got a little like maiden look going on. So I want this to be a right angle because it is a bandana. I can make it so the right angle goes all the way to the end of this bandana and then meets kind of like here. And then I can just throw a knot right here and call it a day. So I got this shirt at Goodwill. I'm gonna iron it a little bit, trace this out, and then just sew it together. <laughs> How hard could it be, right? So I'm just taking this pattern that I kind of freehanded off of a headband. It's gonna go in like that, be kind of this off-center, Bandana shenanigan. Drawing it out on the fold and sewing it together into basically like a sock tube and putting it onto the headband and seeing what I need to do from there. See if this is gonna fit over my headband before I finish it up. That didn't work. 
Looks like one of those hats that old timey cartoons wore when they were like slumbersome. <laughs> Not the look I'm going for! <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong section. <sighs> when it's on correctly, it no longer looks like a sleepy time hat. That looks good, huh? That's, that's about mirror image from this. Looking good, looking great. I guess just sew it close. I can probably sew it with the machine, right? Everybody's gonna tell me that I should probably use hand sewing, but I don't like to. Okay, I see why people say just hand sew this. <laughs> Do anything to avoid work. Oh no. Shoot. All my material got stuck inside the machine. Mm. Do what I want. The good thing is, this is the end of the headband that is going to be completely hidden by hair. So if it's fucked up, nobody will know but you and I. <laughs> I'll just super glue it. So the star has the two points closer to the headband part, and the one point closer to the point, which I guess makes sense. Okay, I don't know how to tell if it is an iron-on. Like, maybe it's like a temporary tattoo where if you kind of like get it a little bit wet, you can feel. <laughs> mm. If it's iron on, that's not how you do it. This is a sewing ham, which you use for kind of rounded stuff. And so, since this is a rounded stuff, I can just do this. Yes! Look! Yeah, I don't want to sew it. One step closer to Wonder Woman. What I wanted to do was make like a little, make it look as if this had been tied right here. Is that a sensible place to tie a bandana? Absolutely not, but it's a comic book, so physics don't matter. Let me see what she does on hers. I'm wondering if it will just tell me exactly what I want and I'm just refusing to look at the instructions. I bet it does, huh? Okay, fine, I'll look. So if, if this is the part of the bow that like goes out like this, this is the part that wraps it and attaches it to. Just because it's weird, long, and skinny, I'm just going to pin it to my ironing board. And then I can use those pins as anchor points. In an unexpected turn of events, there's an ant? I need to unplug this. So Aladdin the ant was just wandering around, oh there he is, and he crawled into the steaming cave of wonders. He's gonna boil himself to death. What are you doing, bud? Okay, well, I'm not reaching in there. <laughs> I don't know how he got there. <laughs> uh, all I know is that he is a very brave soul. I'll keep an eye out. I'll let you know if he makes it. Thanks. There's a, like a straight line and a perforation line and it wants me to twist one side one way and one side the other. One eternity later. Ah, okay. Yeah, so now it does this. Yeah. I'm taking this side and instead of folding it in half to make those two sides meet, I'm basically just taking this and tucking it under, like right behind. It should kind of twist like that. Check on Aladdin. He might have made a grand escape. Good luck, little guy. It takes one layer of super glue to kind of form a plasticky ledge, and then Another thing of super glue, otherwise it seeps in. I 
I want to put it on my head so bad, but I don't want it to stick there. Set! So I actually made this way bigger than I needed it to be, which is fine. I'd rather have that so I could cut off the excess than find out, oh, actually. What do you think? It's cute, huh? We did it. Ouch. We didn't unplug our hot glue gun, though. <laughs> no. <laughs>